Hello all, Scooby331 here. I just wanted to update you on what's going on again. It's like a yo-yo. Shit keeps going back and forth. Now this is interesting. Yesterday, right when I had cut that video about Trump pulling us out of North Korea, CBC had put this up. North Korea says it's willing to talk after Trump cancels summit. Like I said, this shit is like a yo-yo. I guess it got buried because they wanted to really cover the whole thing with him pulling us out. I guess they wanted to move that around up in the news cycle or whatever. <sighs> Alright, I can see that, but still, the dishonesty of it. Anyway, <sighs> nobody should be anxious, but we have to get it right, U.S. President says. Okay. I'll go with that. North Korea is responding to U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to cancel a planned summit between the leaders of the two countries, saying it's ready to talk. Kim Kwai Gon, Guan, excuse me, Kim Kwai, uh, Kim Kai Guan, North Korea's foreign minister, said in a statement published by the state-run media that the U.S. decision was not in line with the quote world's desire. Close quote. Quote, We tell the United States once more that we are open to resolving problems at any time in any way. Close quote, he said. Trump said that the U.S. decided to walk away from the June 12th meeting with Kim Jong-un because of, quote, open hostility, close quote, in Kim's most recent statement. The public letter addressed to the North Korean regime was released Thursday by the White House. Quote, Sadly, based on the tremendous anger and open hostility displayed in your most recent statement, I feel it is inappropriate at this time to have this long planned meeting. Close quote, said Trump. Trump said in the letter and in a subsequent address at the White House that he still looked forward to meeting Kim one day but expressed regret that a, quote, wonderful dialogue, close quote, had taken a turn. Quote, the world, and North Korea in particular, has lost a great opportunity for lasting peace and great, great prosperity and wealth, close quote, the president said. Trump said he believed, quote, Kim Jong-un wants to do what's right, close quote, in response to a reporter's question, but said earlier that the U.S. will continue its campaign of maximum pressure to get North Korea to abandon its nuclear program. <clears throat> Excuse me. Trump said he had informed the Pentagon and allies South Korea and Japan of his decision. The president said he hoped North Korea would re-engage in constructive dialogue, but that the U.S. military was, quote, more, ready, more than ready, close quote, to respond to any reckless actions. Quote, nobody should be anxious, but we have to get it right, close quote, he said. A sitting U.S. president has never met face-to-face -face with the three members of the Kim family who have ruled North Korea for several decades, but hope sprang up after a surpri surprising chain of events in recent weeks. The response from the Americans comes as North Korea claimed on Thursday to have demolished its sole nuclear test site before a gathering of select foreign journalists, though not inter international inspectors. In recent days, however, North Korea had dialed up its rhetoric, focusing on comments made by U.S. Vice President Mike Pence and National Security Advisor John Bolton in interviews. The North Korean government referred to Pence as a, quote, political dummy, close quote, and said it was just as ready to meet in a nuclear confrontation at, as at the negotiating table. Bolton's comments were poorly received as he compared North Korea to Libya, where dictator Muammar Gaddafi was ultimately deposed and killed sometime after halting his pursuit of nuclear weapons. Trump's Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, in his previous capacity as CIA director, has met with Kim. But touts began to emerge that the summit between Trump and Kim would come off as early as last week, when North Korea called off planned talks with South Korea, which has been mediating between the two countries.
in the letter. I'm oh, sorry. Pompeo read Trump's letter in its entirety Thursday as the Senate's Foreign Relations Committee hearing got underway on Capitol Hill. In the letter, Trump, as he is in, as he has in the past, boasted about the quote massive and powerful close quote nuclear capabilities of the U.S. Quote, I pray to God they will never have to be used. Close quote. Trump wrote. Trump hinted on Tuesday while meeting with South Korean President Moon Jae-in at the White House that there was a, quote, very substantial chance, close quote, the summit which, has, which was to be held in Singapore would not happen. Robert Kelly, a professor of international relations in South Korea, said the North Koreans are, quote, so mercurial, close quote, that it's hard to know how they will respond. Quote, the North Koreans just don't take very well to being called out in public, and that's what this was, close quote, he told CBC News Network's Andrew Nichols. Kelly said more diplomacy is required all around, and that the South Korean president in particular will need to do a lot of work to try to get a summit back on track. According to Yon Hap News Agency, Moon said he's, quote, very perplexed, close quote, that the U.S.-North Korea summit won't go ahead as planned. Speaking at an emergency meeting of his top security officials, the South Korean president said, quote, denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and the establishment of permanent peace are historic tasks that can neither be abandoned nor delayed, close quote. Sorry, jumped a little bit. I hear this. Earlier, Pompeo told the U.S. Senators that the administration at, and South Korea were in, quote, lockstep, close quote, re with respect to the, the decision, but said he didn't want to specify which countries were notified ahead of time. Sorry, my own kidney stick. This is a very long article. Oh, good Lord. There's a whole other... Uh, all right. That's just the comments. I got scared. I thought that was like a whole other page. But this, it goes on, and it's it's basically the same uh, dog and pony show. You guys get the idea. Uh, I'll include the link in the description. That way, just in case you guys want to read through the rest of it yourself. But, yeah. Um, I'm just going to give you guys my quick take on this, because, like I said, this is a long-winded, long article. But it is very informative, and this is probably, since it was the first one up, I'm guessing, and they put so much into this that this must really be the real deal, that they got the good scoop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like I had guessed, uh, it's, it's just more of the same, same horse shit. Uh, we're probably going to have the summit. I'll be amazed if it still goes down on the 12th. That, that to me will be hilarious. He does this and it spooks the Korean, the North Koreans so much that they actually want to go back to the exact same date. No, no, we'll come back to the table, not a problem. That would be great. That would really be great. Um, I just really want to get this shit done with, to be honest. Um, I don't like our foreign policy. What I mean by that is, I don't like that we have to actually deal with these Koreans. You know, and that's... Nothing against the South Koreans, you know, I, I, they make good TVs and phones. Uh, just enough of this shit already. Come on, my father fought in the North, Korea, you know, in the Korean War. He fought against uh, this guy's grandfather, I think it was. Enough of this shit. Seriously, we've been doing this. Think about that. We've been doing this since the fifties, before I was born. I was born in seventy nine. We've been doing this since well before I was born. No, nah. enough of this. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm not going to give my opinion too much on this. You guys know the deal. We just got to get these folks to the table. I don't want to see re reunification. Not just yet. Look, I'll be honest with you. I, I think the shit that's going on in Europe now is not only based on what they mentioned in this article, how uh, Hillary and Obama did that brilliant move of getting rid of poor Momo because now, <laughs> look at Europe. But I think it's deeper than that. 
uh, part of the problem that we have in Europe was the reunification of Europe. What I mean by that is, a lot of you folks might be too young to remember, when I was a kid, uh, President Reagan, you know, went and uh, was talking with Gorbachev. They met at the wall in Berlin, in case you guys don't know. I don't even think they teach you this in history. I remember it very clearly. There was a wall that ran through Berlin, separating it. Okay, the Berlin Wall. And they tore that thing down. And I remember my father was, may he rest in peace, very upset about this. And the reason was, once you tear down that wall, all of these people who have been communists for decades, and people who have known nothing but communism and grew up in communism and had whole families, you know, themselves, grown people who have grandchildren at this point, you know, like young grandparents who are like, you know, in their late 40s, those folks, they, they can't, you know, they were, that were full-blown communists. They wound up emerging from there into this capitalist society. This is the reason you have all this shit going on in Europe now is because you took down that wall and you had all of these communists spill in to this capitalist society. And I'm thinking about this now. What's going to happen if we reunify Korea? Um, my advice, honestly, get this guy under control. Don't let these people mix. I'm sorry. That's really horrible. You're going to have to like do some sort of like deprogramming process or something. Seriously. Look, I mean, this is in America, so you can actually say this about this country without the blue hairs going up and, to, up and down the streets, you know, screaming with their protest signs and their tops off that no one wants to say. Uh, yeah. You can't do to Korea what you guys did, to, you know, like to Germany. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, no. no we, we can't do this to these poor people. They, they don't deserve that. That's just my opinion. I'm just letting you know. But, uh, yeah, the link is in the description. Uh, sorry for such a long video about this article, but I figured it was good to give you as an update. Uh, it's my inner journalist. I can't help it. You know, I'm, I'm trying to stay on top of this, and I apologize for not being on top of other stories as much as this one with the Korean summit. It's just, uh, yeah, my father fought in this war, so I heard about it my entire life when I was a kid. I know how important it is. It's the forgotten war. So, just wanted to shed a little light on it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm Scooby Three for One, and uh, yeah, today's what Friday. Oh, I'm actually hosting Chaos tonight. So yeah, if anything, I'll see you guys tonight. Take care. Bye bye.